Yeah, I was uh, talking about uh, Dara Tumumab in a symposium organized by the International Society of Hematology that uh, took place uh, here in Barcelona at the same time that the National Society of uh, Hematology here in Spain. And uh, Dara Tumumab is an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody and uh, CD38 is expressed on the surface of the malignant plasma cells. This means that uh, Dara Tumumab is a target therapy and uh, when Dara binds to CD38 on the surface of the plasma cells, there is a direct anti-tumor activity, and I will remark the complement-dependent cytotoxicity killing myeloma cells. But the daratumumab has also an immunomodulatory effect because T-Rex, B-Rex, myeloid derived suppressor cells also do express CD38, so there is going to occur an enhancement of the T cells and this immunomodulatory effect together with the direct anti-tumor activity are the responsible of the great efficacy so far reported with the data to Mumaba. At the beginning as a single agent in the unmet medical need population that emerged in 2013-2014, the double refractory population to proteasome inhibitors and immunomodulatory drugs. And that a single agent was effective and was approved for relapsing and refractory myeloma. The next step has been to combine it with whatever standard of care. In the relapsing and refractory setting, with lenalidomide and dexamethasone, bortezomib and dexamethasone, pomalidomide, carfilzomib. But then now, the most common use for daratumumab is in the Afron setting as part of the first line of therapy in the transplant eligible population in combination with bortezomib, lenalidomide and dexamethasone, and in the transplant eligible population in combination with either VMP or especially lenalidomide and dexamethasone because Daral index is the most effective combination for the transplant ineligible population.